Mm. Uh, him and uh. Oh, Leaf not her have... having the car oh, imagery. Oh no, no, no! Why no, would you do no, this to me? Not with her kids. Oh, oh no, you no, no, dirty no, 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 mangaka. No. Oh no. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Vontae, the first, the day portion of Mugen Eclipse. And it's me, Mr. Twitchy, the night portion of Mugen Eclipse. Here today with episode 19 of Vinland Saga, season 2. I can see the ending from here. Yes, sir. You guys know what happened last week. A lot of intense intensity, a lot of crazy stuff happened. Chaos. So, you know, on Twitter and all these other apps and stuff, a lot of people have been debating back and forth about the situation. But we started out the episode, or early on in the episode, uh, Thorgil, Leaf, Kettle, and Thorfinn one B and Omar. <laughs> they had all uh, came back. Um, so it's cool to see that Leaf is in the same vicinity as Thorfinn. So they came back. Uh, Kettle is still like shell shocked or whatever, and like he's he was in the barrel. Thorgo just threw him out. He was still like you know because Kunu was trying to take over his farm. So this world is just starting to doing. It's just starting to turn upside down. His wife ends up telling him about the Arnheim situation about her you know trying to escape a guard art, a slave that came in that was apparently her ex-husband, this, that, and the third. And then fast forward, once he got to Arnhide, uh, he snaps. He ends up hitting, beating her with a stick, poking her belly. She even told him that she was pregnant. And, he, and then he asked like, well, whose child is it? She told him like, I swear it's your, it's your child because I mean, duh. But he snapped and he beat her really, really bad, which was a very uncomfortable scene for us to watch. And that's why the discourse went the way that it did on the internet and yeah kettle is essentially ready for war now he got out a sword and it looks like he's gonna rally up the troops is there anything you want to say about the episode before we get into the next episode yeah really quickly i will mention the point about the discourse about the previous episode there is a difference between sympathizing with a fictional character and actually excusing their actions they are not the same we are not excusing what Kettle did. We are simply saying that we could sympathize with his fall from grace because he lost everything that was important to him in his life, or at least he was fearful of that happening. So just wanted to set the record straight. We do not condone what Kettle did, and we definitely mm -hmm. we can sympathize with both him and Arnheide for different reasons. Okay? And I will say, though, I sympathize with Arnheide a lot more because oh, it yeah, is Kettle's sure. fault. <laughs> just for him trusting a slave and that whole thing but yes like you said we get it it's great writing a great flawed character and that's why the discourse from both sides is just kind of like i mean we all like you know but it is what it is i'm ready to get into this episode i think i am okay i hope i am <laughs> <laughs> so without any uh further ado guys let's get into the newest episode of vinland saga episode 19 right about now What's the over under on years of how long it'll take for us to get a new OP? Mm. Whoa, this is a king mm. in his Whoa. castle. Damn. The Battle of Kettle's Farm? Damn. Are we getting into it? 350 soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a farmer. <laughs> right. Oh my goodness. Wow. I mean, <laughs> do they even have time to train? Nah, because Canoe said two to three days, and we're already like a day or two away. Yeah, it's it's mob mentality. You got to get them riled up. You, you know who they need? They need, uh, what's her name? Bello Betty? <laughs> For one piece. <laughs> Here's your choice. Damn, I forgot he, he got a new scar. Mm -hmm. Oh, and screw you, Kettle. You ruined the reunion between Thorfinn and Leif. <laughs> I will not forgive you for that. I'm not gonna forgive you right. for a lot of things, but that's that's added to the to the check. Arigato. Oh my god, please don't tell me that she's the one that gets crucified. Oh, oh hell no, that would just be but why? You think Canute would do that? I don't know what Canute's on. He could do anything, and I don't know if I'd be surprised at this point. That's true. Because I'm thinking about back to like, well, I mean, yeah. Because I was just thinking Even of back uh, when he Kettle's scream in the OP. 
お前を見てわしだけ逃げるなんて。あと一日だけこのまま様子を見ましょう。I don't know if you guys can wait another day. マジかよ。その後はどうすんだよ。It's funny how they say a, a day. And literally this stuff is going to happen in a day. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's the vanguard. Tailwind. Here's OP. <laughs> you know what's kind of funny? <laughs> that guy that he was talking to right there, that's the one that got beheaded in the OP. Oh no! <laughs> you, you got it. Well, RIP, bud. Oh, I was going to say, that's the second observation post employee that got killed. Because the same one guy got killed in Demon Slayer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there he go. <laughs> and you know what, too, from the OP, like how the art style looks? I feel like that's going to really be from Thorfinn's perspective when we do get the battle. It's going to be like a lot of, like, the red... Blood, that that kind of stuff that he got in his nightmares and in the OP. I think we're gonna get that for a few scenes. <laughs> they don't know nothing. <gasps> Holy! Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God! Headshot! Oh, wow! 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 We're like starting, starting for real. You guys <laughs> just lost a significant amount of men. Right. Oh my god. How many did Canute say that he was bringing with him with uh, Floki like all together? 50? He's, I think he said 50 of his men, and then I think he said so uh, Floki would have right? like. Yeah. I just wonder how many, because like. I mean, it really won't matter because these farmers, I mean. <laughs> the 350 is really like 100. <laughs> He's trying diplomacy. I'll give him that. Yeah. Well, he did kill those guys, so. Diplomacy light. <laughs> Tataka. I'm gonna say that every time I see a bird. I don't care. I say that in real life every time I see a bird. <laughs> and they're always in my backyard, so. <laughs> okay, you don't know Canute. Do not underestimate him. Exactly. And what the hell did you expect? You got these farmers out here shooting arrows from the, the shore hella far away. They don't have. I'm like what? <laughs> Is that more than he expected? Or less? Less? Oh, look at them! Oh my god! Okay, these guys are Yom's Vikings, dude. Right, you guys are like. It feels like a scale from one through ten. These guys are like nines, and y'all are like twos. <laughs> You notice how Kettle completely changed, like his whole demeanor and like he just sounds like an ignorant, grumpy guy now, which is interesting. It's also like it seems how, like he's naive. Yeah, like exactly. it, it doesn't seem like you have any battle experience with the way that you're talking. So he is fraudulent. It seems. There are even those are tens. Yep. <laughs> So Snake me <laughs> Jimmy Butler shit. <laughs> King Slayer. <laughs> Who's that little guy? Is he like Mouse? Is he Mouse out of them? <laughs> no, he's What's Bear. What's his nickname? He's Bear? I don't know. I'm just making it For real? Or oh, how about I <laughs> I don't <even> remember. <laughs> Fraud. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Alright. <laughs> oh. oh. Whoa, that is strong okay. praise. Uh, I don't like how much they're building up Snake. <laughs> mm. <gasps> he pulled a <laughs> Thorfinn! Wait, what? <laughs> so, there was another Iron Fist kettle, but this kettle isn't that kettle. Right. He's a your name, John? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Oh, wait, no, John? No, no, that John is actually like that. This one, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, so I wonder where that kettle is. He's probably dead. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. I mean, this is anime. It's not the typical, like, shonen type or nothing like that. Those kind of anime. Because the real uh, kettle was showed up in those. <laughs> not here, though. No. Man's dead. Whatever you gotta tell yourself, dude. I respect the courage, even if you have to talk yourself into it. Because you know what? I am starting to feel oh, like... Oh, wow. Man. Snake might end up dying. Because we still don't even know his backstory for real yet. He didn't talk with Spherical as far as we know. I thought yeah, we'd have like... like anger. <laughs> I thought this episode was going to be like a, a breather. Nope. All right. <laughs> right into it. Get around behind him from the sea. I also said that. <laughs> it's to buy time for you to sneak in and kill the king, right? Mm. Bingo. Yep. Thorgil, you are savage. Right. Wait, is him. Thorgil actually Kettle's son then? That's a good thought, because he don't even really look like him. And that's something I thought about. Like, Or the mom. I mean, I don't know if it's a different woman, but... Damn, that would be kind of... Whoa. Remember I said, like, what if the real one, like, died? What if, like, he ended up... He's basically adopted by this other guy, but he doesn't know that this guy is actually not him or something? I don't know. I was just thinking of something. Hey, can y'all play the uh, Paradox opening, too, while we fight? <laughs> I don't want to hear that. <laughs> Oh, Pater. Oh, man. Is that even possible in this day and age? Something bad is going to happen to this group, man. Oh, my God. Hmm. Is, is Thorfinn going to turn around? For one, they would definitely need him. You know, uh, we, we know that. And two, just because of the narrative... You could just see that happening, like him and Ke mm. him and uh. Oh, Leaf not, not her happen. having the car oh, imagery. Oh no, no, no! Why no, would you do no, this no. to me? Not with her kids. Oh, oh no, you no, dirty no, 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 mangaka. No. Oh no! Now, Mappa, let me find out this attitude. Her husband's too. driving, isn't he? God damn wow. it! Wow. <sighs> you got me to cry with one oh, card no. scene. Are you trying to go two for two? <laughs> Dark wood soon, huh? Hey, your AOT reference. First, he was the one that was on the path. Well, they both were, but, you know, he was still on the path, too, in the, after in the afterlife, but... I love the symbolism here. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, Thorfinn and Einar! Mm hmm Ooh, I like that shot. Yeah, that was cool. Oh. Wow. Yep. I had a feeling. My, I think they're probably going to trick us. Oh! 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 oh. Why do you do that? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm... It was in a very delicate moment, and then... Boom. Slice in half. That's crazy. Splitting wigs. Ooh. I like the eyes on the helmet. Uh-oh. That's how you leave yourself open. Dude, if you had to swim like four miles... Alright, Navy SEAL. I'm like, Thor, you got that, my guy. You do it. <laughs> I like the line, but where's the eyes? <laughs> That's what I was thinking, too. <laughs> Look at this fool. He's really like a shark. Yes! 
two guards in Canute? I'm not gonna lie, they could probably know he's there because they know him and they don't see him on the battlefield. I'm sure they no, would be able to no, see him. No, it is no, no. It's over. We needed more this week. This felt short. Mm. It felt real short. We needed more. We, we circle back to Arn Hyde and her situation, you know, life and death situation. Yep. She wakes up. Uh, we both kind of predict that Thorfinn might end up turning around. I mean, and he doesn't even have to kill anyone. Um, I know his his oath was to give up violence, but mm -hmm. if it were to protect someone close to him or someone that they cared about, so Kettle in this example, because he still called him uh, the old master, but he did it with, I believe, the honorific of Sama, so he still showed respect to Kettle despite mm -hmm. what he did to Arnhide. If he feels that way about Arnhide and also feels that way about Kettle, I could see him going onto the battlefield and doing, like, no weapon jutsu in order to disarm <laughs> these people like his dad. Kanui went to shore. They was already shooting them arrows. These farmers and stuff, they end up getting wiped out a little bit on the shore. They set up the camp there. They try to negotiate. They try to be diplomatic to some degree. And uh, Kettle like, uh-uh, let's fight. With his fraudulent ass, we find out that he's not really him. He's Somebody literally else is not him. him. Like I said, he is. They just both share the same name, John. You know, it's a lot of Johns <laughs> in the world. It's a lot of Iron Fist kettle. It's a lot of kettles in the world, I guess, at this time. <laughs> nah, but uh, huh, that's interesting. And you even brought up like, is Thorgil his son? Didn't you ask that question earlier? Yeah, I I don't know. It like they seem somewhat familiar in terms of maybe the the hairstyle but again that could mm -hmm. literally mean anything in this day and age the physiques <laughs> they they look a little bit different i'm not putting it past kettle i don't know what he looked like when he was really younger but yeah i could see uh, that it being oh, yeah, some sort really. of like a yeah. backstory of where this kettle worked let's just say he worked on a farm for the actual kettle and his you know mm. land or his I don't know, whatever he was granted from the spoils of war. And if he died in battle and there was a loss and he ran away with the kid, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, that, now that kind of connects it. Cause earlier I was saying like, well, well, maybe he's actually the son of the real kettle, but I was trying to, or iron, iron fist kettle, but I wasn't really sure how to connect that with this one. Cause it'd be a little too convenient, mm -hmm. but the way that you put it right there, could it actually make sense in that sense where he's basically protecting and you know doing his farm and then he's protecting you know basically back and forth kind of like what uh canoe's brother uh harold situation similarly but not necessarily the same i mean i'm excited for next week i think i am like i said in this episode i think i'm excited <laughs> for this episode uh because we already started and it seems like next week is probably gonna be even more like chaos and then we'll see where we go from there but uh I want to say that Canute's downfall might be his arrogance here because mm. in in military strategy you have vanguard you have the center yep. in which you're protecting either the commander the king whatever the mm -hmm. MVP and then you have the rear guard because whenever you are right. just advancing forward if you get flanked especially if they come mm -hmm. up behind you and launch an attack you are defenseless that is the yep. literal reason for a rear guard. And for you to say yeah. <laughs> it's taking too long, you are slaughtering right. them. I don't care if it takes a week. Yeah, I'm like, what is he talking about? Did you Didn't you like make like a second guy? line of offense? Yeah, though? did you lose like, a single man in that first offensive fight? <laughs> two people? Talk, oh, no. You guys going out. What? No, and no. Plus, I gotta like, be home for dinner. <laughs> and plus, it's literally home court advantage. Like, they know the way around the land. Like, do you not think of them pot potentially flanking you at yeah. all? Yeah, he really underestimated. He said, oh, these are a bunch of farmers, which is true. But, like, I mean, you know, Thorgill is here. You know, they got some kind of, you know, they got something there. So why would you just think? And I guess I'll ask you, this, is Monte, is, do you feel like this is out of character for Canute? He's been so calculated and cunning up until this point with all of his plans, yeah. all of his poisoning. So for him to kind Here's of like thing. lose his cool and send his rear guard forward, mm -hmm. I don't know. It seems a little bit out of character to me. I think it is out of character purposely because it's like 
so far we've seen him do all these underhand tactics and not wanting to like actually go to battle for real. Mm -hmm. And then once he started training and stuff, and then basically his dad is in his corner or in his head, literally <laughs> um, telling him like, oh, you know, you're basically like me. You're basically like any other kind of king. He's kind of just following the same footsteps of kings in general to the point where now he has his arrogance because he already knows, oh, I could do all this stuff without fighting. But now he's kind of being forced to do it a little bit more. Now he's really starting to understand it a lot. He's basically a rookie. You know, he still acts like a prince, essentially. Like, he's not really there yet. He thinks he's him, and he could be, but he's not necessarily him just yet because all of what he claimed that he wanted to do, even back in season one, yeah. he's not, he hasn't been able to do it like how he wants to do it at all. And now he really can't because they're literally in battle. And you might end up getting injured in this battle by how you're setting this all up so so that's really interesting him and Kettle are both out of character that's pretty interesting i like that the dynamic between the two generals not being accustomed to leading <laughs> opposing sides of a conflict i feel like it really sets up some interesting premises in terms of is snake gonna follow what kettle says or is snake gonna do what he's trained his whole life for is, I think he'll do the latter. I, I think so too, but it's interesting to think if Snake feels like this is a losing battle, he's like, yeah, I guess I'll go to the left. I should be going to the right, but mm -hmm. I'll just do what you say and then I'll get out of there because I'm better than whoever it is I'm fighting. Also, where's that quarter boy at? Don't get intercepted by him. He's Jordan. probably, yeah, he's probably on the ship getting ready. He's the sole rear guard. Oh my God. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. <laughs> You know what, too? Um, well, in the opening, I don't know if, like, uh, Thorgil was wounded or anything, but you've seen him go crazy. His eyes are white and stuff. And he's going crazy in the OP. I feel like if he ends up getting injured by uh, that guy, Quarter Boy, <laughs> and then he goes to the battlefield with the eyes all white, going crazy, going berserk, I can see that happening that way. Because where is he at? I know they needed to bring him in here. And plus, I don't think this plan that Thorgil has is a great plan. You know, flanking is always a great plan, but... Honestly, I don't see it being a success, especially with, with Omar kind of like... two people? <laughs> one of which is your younger brother who just got his first kill a week ago? Right. Uh, Personnel-wise, I have some concerns about this operation. Or he just might even end up hesitating, which would get Thorgo wounded by... Uh, who's, who's buying Floki and Wolf. Canute and Wolf. Yeah. So... <laughs> But yeah, man, um, I ain't got nothing else to say. It's already a long discussion, so I'll leave it at that. Yeah, and that's all I got on my end, guys, so I'll let Vante end it up here. All right, you guys know the drill. We're going to do Vinland every week. We got, like, what, a month and a half left of Vinland, something Five like that. A little over. So yeah, um, stay tuned for all the Vinland to the end of the arc, and hope you guys are all have a good one, so please stay safe, stay healthy, stay clean. See you guys on the next video, and peace. peace.